welcome to another auto car drag race. We are here every week bringing you performance tests like this, track battles, reviews and much, much more. So subscribe below, turn on notifications and you'll never miss a thing. So this one is a hard scientific test for essential reasons. It's essential you know, isn't it, I think, how fast an estate car will go along a half mile from start to finish. I am in a Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid, whose name takes longer to say than the car will probably take to hit 60 miles an hour. It has 671 horsepower, owing to the fact that it generates more than 540 horsepower from a twin turbocharged V8 engine, and another 130 or so from an electric motor. On my left then is a Mercedes AMG E63 S estate, driven by my friend and colleague Maro, which comes in at a cheaper price of around £90,000. It's down on power from the Porsche with a mere 603 brake horsepower. However, it weighs a lot less than the Panamera too, some 400 kilos or so in fact, making this car around 1900 kilograms. To my right then, we have a previous generation Audi RS6. Now that's the splendid 2008 to 2011 series one, the one with the V10 engine, which is driven by Chris, who has kindly brought along his very own car today for us to put the timing gear on. For why? Well, it's a rule of thirds thing. A car like this can cost less than 40,000 pounds, and it's against the Mercedes, which is a bit over twice the price, and the Porsche, which is kind of half as much again. This two-ton car has had a few modifications, although none is too drastic. The owner tells us that on its original settings, the turbo boost pressures are limited a bit. So an engine map opens up the boost pressures and the wastegate operation and a little bit of fueling adjustment, all of which lets this RS6, without mechanical modifications, make somewhere between 630 and 650 horsepower. That's up from the 570 horsepower the RS6 made as standard and puts it in the same kind of power league as the other two cars here, which is pretty impressive for an 11-year-old car. The RS6 does not, though, have launch control, so Chris will have to hold the car on the torque converter and the brake, whereas Maro and I do have launch control. The Porsche has a twin clutch gearbox and the Mercedes has a standard auto, but one in which wet clutches replace the torque converter. So let's see what happens. And we are away. The Mercedes got off to a better start because this couldn't find the grip. The RS6 is not doing badly. Through a quarter mile, the E63 and this are neck and neck. This is just ahead. That's 137, 140. The RS6 is a bit of a speck. Through the half mile at 100. So there we have it, the Porsche comes out on top, as you might expect, but not by light years. We were impressed by the RS6 maintaining touching distance, despite the fact that it's over a decade old. There is a moral victory of sorts here, given the V10 RS6 costs but a fraction of the price of the other two. And so, to the numbers. So this concludes our drag race to see how far cars have progressed over the years. And of course, while the overall victory goes to the Porsche, everyone goes away with their heads held high, not least Chris and his RS6. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you click the little bell icon for post notifications, you'll never miss another Autocar video.